I think we will want to be offering um, to the future government at the time um, a blueprint of what their options realistically are, evidence-based policies which they can consider and maybe we can do some additional work but I think it will be the absolute moment to provide that evidence-based policy options. We've got an opportunity to go out deep, we've got a blank canvas, we can cross industries, we can cross sectors, we can look at all sorts of different parts of economy and politics, all sorts of different interest groups and begin to set some priorities for the policy makers of this country going forwards. Well, I, I think the Commission through LSE Ideas is very much within what I would like to think of as the LSE tradition, which is historically always to engage with real world issues and maybe have an impact on the policy debate about, an empirically driven policy debate about how to best go forward. In a sense, it's problem solving as much as theoretically it applies good theory, good, good empirics to a real problem, a series of problems, and then hopes to, I think, advance a series of uh, acceptable, at least uh, reasonable, policy options. And I think that, therefore, is very much what we're trying to do, but I see that very much inside the LSE tradition. I really hope that this commission will start a conversation, a debate, about the principles and the aims for how Britain should be setting its foreign economic policy and the kind of role that such an economy should be playing on the world stage, promoting, for instance, a rules-based system, promoting principles and values that support things like human rights, democracy, making that consistent with the positioning of an economy in the world. And I think those are the kinds of aims that this commission will look at. And I think those are the kinds of discussions that not just Britain, but every country should be having.